हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आई एम हियर ललित कुमार पी भैया एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर बीसीईटी दुर्ग इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन रेगुलेटर्स पार्ट टू इन विच वी हैव स्टडीड द सीरीज ट्रांजिस्टर रेगुलेटर सन ट्रांजिस्टर रेगुलेटर एंड इट इट्स इक्वेशंस एंड द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर रेगुलेटर्स ऑपरेशन यूजिंग द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर सीरीज रेगुलेटर एंड यूजिंग द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर शंट रेगुलेटर दीज रेगुलेटर्स वी हैव सीन टूडे वी विल गो फॉर द आई सी रेगुलेटर्स one review of the last video we will go through this ppt and then we will go for the ic regulators that is general purpose regulator and three pin regulators this we have seen line specifications of the regulators line regulation load regulation <coughs> then वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन रिपल रिजेक्शन एंड सोर्स रेजिस्टेंस जिन्नर डायोड रेगुलेटर वी हैव सीन दिस जिन्नर डायोड रेगुलेटर देयर फार्मुलेज वी हैव गॉन थ्रू दिस कैलकुलेशन आल्सो देन ट्रांजिस्टर सीरीज रेगुलेटर सिंपल जिन्नर डायोड एज अ रेफरेंस एलिमेंट वी हैव सीन ट्रांजिस्टर सीरीज रेगुलेटर ट्रांजिस्टर शंट रेगुलेटर जिन्नर डायोड एज अ रेफरेंस एलिमेंट देन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर सीरीज रेगुलेटर एंड शंट रेगुलेटर दैट वी हैव सीन एंड दिस टू सर्किट्स कांस्टेंट करंट लिमिटिंग सर्किट वी हैव सीन दिस एंड फोल्ड बैक करंट लिमिटिंग सर्किट वी हैव सीन दिस इज द फोल्ड बैक करंट लिमिटिंग ऑलरेडी we have studied about this so these equations we have studied regarding fold back current transistor current regulator and transistor shunt regulator then now we will go for the last topic of this regulator that is ic regulators there are basically two kinds of ic regulators one is the multi pin type ic regulator that is most popularly general purpose regulator uses this lm723 c this is the ic number of the regulator and three pin type regulators like 78xx series and 79xx series rather than this more regulators are there like 317 337 etc multi pin regulators are less popular but they provide the greatest flexibility and produce the highest quality voltage regulation three pin types make regulator circuit design simple this is you can see ic723 voltage regulator you can go through this pin configuration of the ic and within this the block diagram is also shown q1 is a current limiting transistor and current sense operational amplifier as an error amplifier and for reference zener diode is used here this zener diode is used as a reference this is an error amplifier or comparator and this is limiting current limiting and current sensing transistor and here is a you can take the reference output that is vz zener output so this is not connected pin number 1 and this is 40 pin 14 pin ic pin number 1 pin number 14 and this pin number 9 is not connected pin number uh, sorry 8 is not connected it should be keep open the pin number 2 is i limit 
पिन नंबर थ्री इज आई सेंस दिस इज करंट लिमिटिंग दिस इज करंट सेंस दिस इज इन्वर्टिंग इनपुट ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर पिन नंबर फोर पिन नंबर फाइव इज द नॉन इन्वर्टिंग इनपुट ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर पिन नंबर सिक्स इज द रेफरेंस वोल्टेज एंड पिन नंबर सेवन इज द ग्राउंड पिन नंबर एट नॉट कनेक्टेड पिन नंबर नाइन इज द व्ही झेड जिनर डायड वोल्टेज पिन नंबर टेन इज द आउटपुट वोल्टेज पिन नंबर इलेवन इज द व्ही आय इनपुट वोल्टेज व्ही आय प्लस व्ही आय एंड पिन नंबर ट्वेल्व इज द सप्लाय वोल्टेज प्लस व्ही सी सी पिन नंबर थर्टीन इज फ्रिक्वेन्सी कंपनसेशन इफ नीड वी कैन कनेक्ट द कैपेसिटर एंड मेक द फ्रिक्वेन्सी कंपनसेशन टू दिस पिन एंड पिन नंबर फोर्टीन इज नॉट कनेक्टेड हियर यू कैन सी द एल एम सेवन टू थ्री हैज एन इक्वेलेंट सर्किट दैट कंटेन्स मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द अपैम्प वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अर्लियर यू कैन सी दिस इज अपैम्प रेगुलेटर <clears throat> it has an internal voltage reference this is internal voltage reference error amplifier this is the error amplifier this is pass transistor current limiting and current sense this is pass transistor and this is current limiting and current sense transistor or current limiter all in this is one ic package and this ic is lm723c can be either 14 pin this ic can be either 14 pin dual in line package that is dip or 10 pin to 100 can package that is circular package to 100 this ic may be used for either positive or negative voltage regulator variable or fixed regulated output voltage this is the facility with this ic using the internal reference that is 7.15 volt is fixed it can operate as high voltage regulator with output from 7.15 volt to 37 volt this is the limit of the output voltage of the regulator for the high voltage regulator 7.15 to about 37 volt so we can prepare 7 to 3 ic for this range 7.15 volt to about 37 volt as a high regulator or as a low voltage regulator from 2 volt to 7.15 volt low voltage regulator range output range is 2 volt to 7.15 volt and high voltage regulator the range of high voltage regulator is 7.15 volt to about 37 volt maximum output current with heat sink is 150 milli ampere this is a specification and drop out voltage is about 3 volt ic drop out voltage that is between input and output is about 3 volt that is vcc must be greater than v output max plus 3 whatever the output is required that plus 3 volt you have to add for connecting the power supply vcc so this is the characteristics of the lm7231 now you can see the high voltage regulator high voltage regulator means 7.12 volt to 37 volt so you can achieve the high voltage up to 37 volt from 7.12 volt using this circuit diagram you can see here this is the unregulated input given here pin number 12 and pin number 11 is short circuited and for pin number 13 frequency com for frequency compensation this capacitor is connected to pin number 4 pin number 6 and pin number 5 is connected with this r3 you can go once again you can go what is 1 2 3 4 and 5 are the inverting and non inverting terminal
So you can go through this. Four is the inverting terminal, and this five is the non-inverting terminal. So between non-inverting terminal and pin number six, you can connect R three. And for high voltage regulator, from pin number ten, you can connect this transistor externally, and this controlling resistor R to the emitter of the transistor. Base is connected to pin number ten, and at pin number two, this emitter is connected, and collector is connected to the unregulated input. And here voltage divider. Arrangement from output to non-inverting terminal is connected R1 and R2. So non-inverting terminal that is pin number four is connected here R1 and R2 to this output voltage. External pass transistor and current sensing is added. This R resistance, this is R R sense is written here. so current sensing resistance here current limiting resistance is connected externally these two components are externally added here and this is the divider which will provide to the pin number 4 so this circuit will provide you the high voltage regulation up to 37 volt now you can see the equations to get the output voltage is v not is equal to v reference Into this R1 plus R2 upon R2. V reference is the 7.2 volt internal. It is fixed. You can connect the value of R1 or R2 according to your output voltage. Decide the value of R1 and R2. Just only you have to design the R1 and R2. Then this is the R3 is the parallel combination of this R1 and R2. So you can get here. the value of r3 also then this r sense always equal to vb upon i max that is 0.7 volt upon i max choose r1 plus r2 is equal to 10 kilo ohm and capacitor is of 100 picofarad almost in all cases we select these values to make v not variable replace r1 with a potentiometer if we make the r1 variable you can you can get the change in output voltage and this output voltage may be between 7.12 volt to 37 volt by changing the value of r1 with the help of the potentiometer <coughs> so this was the circuit diagram which we have seen for the high voltage regulator and from 2 volt to 7.12 volt we have to design this circuit we have changed the position of r1 and r2 is connected between this inverting terminal and pin number 6 r1 and r2 and r3 is connected here this is the replacement change and all other factors remains the same where this r4 and r5 is also connected as a voltage divider capacitor as it is pin number 12 as it is there is a change in pin number 6 and 5 r1 and r2 is there and r3 is connected to pin number 4 here you can go through the once again you remember the details of the pin and then see the connections and all other remaining things are same with external pass transistor and fold back current limiting transistor here you can get the output voltage is equal to r2 upon r2 into v reference upon r1 plus r2 this side and maximum load current is r4 into v in Plus 0.7 into R4 plus R5 upon R5 into R sense. R sense is this one. 
and R5 is this divider arrangement. So you will get the maximum load current here. And this is short circuit current. I short is equal to 0.7 into R4 plus R5 upon R5 into R sense. And the value of R sense can be calculated as 0.7 times V0 upon I short into V0 plus 0.7 minus 0.7 I load max. So you can go through these equations and see the changes in the high voltage and low voltage regulator. Here this output will be in the range of 1 uh, 2 volt to 7.15 volt or 7.12 volt. This is low voltage regulator. So you can use this circuit as a low voltage regulator. Then these are the two important circuits which we have seen. This is high voltage regulation. There is a change in the 5, 6. 6 and 5 pin number is connected with the here R3 resistance but in case of the low voltage regulator you can have the voltage this R1 and R2. This R1 and R2 is connected in between these two and ground. And here you can connect the voltage divider R4 and R5. And here one more resistance you can connect in case of the low voltage regulation you can see. So go through these two regulators and IC723. This is all about the IC723. Now we will go for the three terminal fixed voltage regulators. This has only three pins. These are less flexible but simple to use. Come in standard TO3 package 20 watt RTO220 package 15 watt transistor packages. 78XX and 79XX series regulators are commonly available. And the like 78005, 78006, 78008, 7812, 78158, 7818, 7824. These are all positive voltage regulator will provide the plus 5 volt plus 6 volt, plus 8 volt, plus 12 volt, plus 15 volt, plus 18 volt and plus 24 volt output. Similarly, 7905 means minus 5 volt output. 7906 means you will get minus 6 volt output. 7908 minus, one, uh, minus 8 volt output. 7912 minus 12 volt output. Similarly, 7924 minus 24 volt output you can get from this 3 pin regulator and maximum output current with heat sink is 1 ampere heat sink is connected to these pins and therefore maximum output current with these heat sinks is 1 ampere built in thermal shutdown protection it is inside it is already been built thermal shutdown protection that is protection from the temperature 3 volt dropout voltage here from input to output and maximum input of 37 volt we can apply here. These are the fixed range. So for this we can have maximum is 37 volt. Regulator with lower dropout, higher input output and better regulation are available. You can see this basic circuits of 79 and 78 regulator. This is 78 regulator. This is the input bridge rectifier is used. Transformer bridge rectifier you will get AC here. Secondary bridge rectifier output you will get the pulsating DC here. And this unregulated output is provided to pin number 1 is the input. Pin number 2 is the ground. Pin number 3 is the output for 78 series. C1 and C2 are the filter capacitors. And you will get the output according to the selection of this pin. If we select 7805, you will get the plus 5 volt output. You will select 7812, you will get the plus 12 volt output. And 
This is a seven nine minus negative voltage. You will get here. Similar config here. Pin configuration is changed. Pin number two is the input. Pin number one is the ground, and pin number three is the output. Here, pin number one is input. Pin number two is ground. Pin number three is output. This is negative voltage regulator. This is positive voltage regulator. So these are the filter capacitors. Simple connections are there. You can go through these diagrams. Both the seven eight series and seven nine regulators can be used to provide positive or negative output voltages. C one and C two are generally optional. C one is used to cancel any inductance. any inductance present and c2 improves the transient response if they it is used they should preferably be either 1 microfarad tantalum type or 0.1 microfarad mica type capacitors so these are the fixed structures of 78 and 79 series this is also important diagram which gives the Dual power supply plus minus. This is seven eight IC and this is seven nine IC combinedly connected here. This is ground pin of seven seven eight is two and this is pin number one of seven nine series. This is common terminal and pin number two of seven nine and pin number one of seven eight IC is the input terminal and pin number three in both cases. Are the output terminal. So here you will get the plus positive output, positive DC output, and you here you will get negative DC output. So this will provide you the dual power supply. If you select seven eight zero five and seven nine zero five, you will get the plus minus five volt output. So this is the dual power supply output. This is floating regulator where you can use R1 and R2 here connection, and you can <coughs> use a seven eight series. So you can vary up to maximum voltage. That is, if IC seven eight zero five volt is used, you can use variable up to five volt, or whatever IC you can use according to. And this output for this variable is given by. V not is equal to V regulator plus V regulated upon R one plus I Q into R two. I Q is the quotient current flowing through this output. This is value of R two. You can select and calculate. Other three terminal regulators are. <coughs> The floating regulator could be made into a variable regulator by replacing R2 with a potentiometer in last circuit. However, there are several disadvantages. Minimum output voltage is zero volt. Minimum output is required in place of the zero volt. IQ is relatively large and varies from chip to chip. Power dissipation in R2 can be some cases be quite large. resulting in bulky and expensive equipment a variety of three terminal variable regulators are available lm317 and lm337 lm317 is for use for positive output and lm337 use for negative output in similar fashion these diagrams are used for the lm317 variable regulator like 7805 and 7905 you, you can go through this diagram please This is about three one seven. You can go through this seven three one seven, and this is a switching mode power supply which used in the computer. Power switch, diode clamps, filter, sampling circuit, duty cycle control, and oscillators. These are the blocks used in the SMPS switching mode power supply. 
and this is at comparison between switching mode and linear regulation regulators you can see the advantages and disadvantages so dear friends students here finishes your article regulators in next video we will give go through the new article thank you very much thank you